set up at a shop and I uh, bought this beautiful platypus for my newest cousin, Hebe Rose, born uh, two weeks ago. And there were so many strange animals to pick out. I chose platypus because, you know, I've always been a fan of platypus and these animals are bloody amazing. Yeah. This will be playing. I take it to China and then takes it along on the Okay, if you look straight ahead, <laughs> well, I'm in Tiananmen Square. I've just been in China for nine hours, and I've only got three or four or five more hours. I left, so I decided to get a taxi to Tiananmen Square and have a look around. Hotel wasn't bad, just sort of a bed and a blanket, it's all I needed, five hours, pretty cheap, only $21. And you see that logo? That is the national emblem of uh, China. That's what you see on all the passports and all your visas when you get to go to China. Okay, I think I'm near Mao's tomb or in Forbidden City. I just know I'm in Tiananmen Square. The giant flags are there. And all the monuments are there. And the monuments are there. And there. And I just had a photo with a bunch of uh, like our locals. Really lovely. It must have been my scorpion shirt that made them want to take a photo with me. Pretty exciting. That's yeah, so what's inside here. Okay, I am in a pizza hut in Beijing. I just ordered myself a tall maca, which Allison would love, and a tiramisu uh, cake. And so, within three hours, I've just gone from the center of Beijing to Tiananmen Square, look around, take off photos, get on a taxi, and be nagged by a guy in a Chinese who doesn't really understand my language and I don't understand him. But he uh, took me to the airport, and now I'm just waiting for my flight. And so I'll be in London at 5.45 p.m., and this will be the real true start of my journey. Uh, I was thinking of taking the uh, the subways, but they're a bit complicated, and you couldn't really buy tickets everywhere. So, I hope. Well, you see, here I am at a, a famous machine. It's like one to Japan. Here's some beer. And hot maca, red bull, herbal stuff, and some bottled water, and uh, like a herbal tea in a can, which is good. Then you got some Fanta, some Sprite, and some uh, Coca Cola. So, I a couple of these ones yet, so I'm gonna put them now into his uh, vending machine and uh, get myself a. Just a thing for the night. Like the American. Yeah, it says it's, it supports 1.0, so this is one young. They just found out that uh, the ones in fives go in a smaller slot, so here, put another, put now in this slot. There you go, you can see I've got four, four young, so it's uh, that. It's, uh, it's, under one Australian dollar, and I mean, one Australian dollar buys seven yarns, and so I ended up with 300 yarns after 40 dollars exchanging. Yeah, so after spending the last of my Chinese yarn, I got myself a uh, good old draft beer for 10 yarn, about 2 Australian dollars, I guess. And then this bottle of iced tea, which should be a lot lovely, and it's 6 yarn, so therefore I've only spent like 30, 40 Australian dollars in China, all up, like hotel room, you know, the taxis, the airports, to Tiananmen Square, and back to the airport, and some beer, some food, lovely. Okay, 
Netflix, working on all these games, getting through all my friends, doing all the fun, taking the past time. And I really wish there would be some USB slots so I could like to charge with my camera or my iPod. And that's Okay, I've been using the Overland in high screen in Tune. This is where I arrived yesterday. And now I'm gonna make my way down to West Hampson to you get the St. John's Wood uh, to find Abbey Road. This is what we call the Overland. But not only is it exciting as the tube, but it's really effective. And it, it works well. 